here from the Joy Fed Up. Welcome to day four of my Hearts Come Home series. Today we're going to make the opposite card that what we made yesterday. So yesterday we made a gingerbread village where the white was the main focus. And I mentioned in that video that I thought it might look cool if the brown was the main image and you backed it with white. So that's what we're going to do today. <clears throat> we are not making a similar card to this one. We're going to make something a little bit different. But we're going to be using the die set, and I may use one of these inside sentiments. I'm not going to put a sentiment on the outside, but um, we'll see. So I'm going to be using the Village dies and some soft suede cardstock. I have a card base that is Emerald in me that measured five and a half by eight and a half. I squared it at four and a quarter. We're going to cut off the bottom using this scallop from the seasonal layer framelits and then I'm going to adhere this gingham from the quilted Christmas and then I also pulled out these two snowflakes. I don't know that I'm going to use them but I'm going to go ahead and cut them out and if you weren't familiar these were available Ugh, I hate when I do that these were available in the annual catalog and it's really great because it, you really do have all four seasons You've got some fall leaves, you've got some cherry blossoms, you've got like a, a seat for the spring or the summer. Um, so yeah, really, really fun. And it has a coordinating, um, this is a bundle, so it has a stamp set that goes with it. But I'm just using the dies today. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do the card base, and then I'm gonna do the rest of it off camera because I showed how to do it. Um, earlier in the week. So I've already glued in my card layer. This is a piece of Whisper White that measures four by five and a quarter. I'm gonna bring in my Big Shot and I have my magnetic platform. I'm gonna open this up and make sure that I am die cutting this side, not the side with the um, card layer. I'm gonna try to get this as straight as I can and I want it to take off probably about an inch or so all right come on now how straight are we looking that actually looks pretty straight for me Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully, and if it's not, maybe it won't be too noticeable. I'm gonna run this through. So then we have a card base that looks like this. Okay, so I'm gonna finish die cutting and I'll catch back up with you when I'm done. All right guys. I am done die cutting. I want to talk to you about a little bit of an error I made. So yesterday's card was a portrait card, which meant it was five and one quarter inches wide. And I initially cut my cardstock to be five and a half quarter or five and a half, four and a quarter inches wide. And what I really needed it to be was five and a half inches wide because the card base today is that wide. So what I did was I wasted quite a bit of paper, but you can still die cut, you know, in these areas. I put them on their sides so I could cut out um, a longer strip and then, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> then I could trim them down to the size I need. So it's going to say attached. So I'm just going to trim up to each one and I'm probably not going to take all of it maybe I will we'll see so I need to measure five and a half inches wide doesn't it already look like gingerbread <laughs> I love ginger schnapps those are my favorite so five and a half is just about right there. So I need a pen or a pencil.
this is what we're dealing with right here. Got some snowflakes. I'm going to go ahead and do our card base first. So I have this piece, again, from the Quilted Christmas. I'm going to cut it down one and three quarters. Oops. Where we'll cut it out. Don't worry about these measurements. They'll be available for you on the blog. Much further. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere the white to the back and I have some white scraps from yesterday's mess up. <laughs> so I'm gonna adhere it just like that. And this is gonna be just like I did yesterday. So I'm just gonna cut it. I'm gonna put a little glue. And then I'm gonna cut off the excess. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Oh, I think this is gonna look great. <laughs> so let me get the rest of these done, then we'll figure out how we're gonna get these on. These are so cute. Oh my word, this looks just like gingerbread. Okay, so what I think I've decided to do, so we're gonna adhere this all the way down. We're gonna add this little hill, and we're gonna add the church to it and then we'll find a way to cover it, maybe with some ribbon and a bow. Am I going to use... Okay, so I'm gonna glue this one flat. And again, my goal for this one is that the house at the top is straight. Maybe we'll just add some detail. I think I'm going to adhere this with mini dimensionals. measured it to by tree. It was nice knowing you. 
So you can see that I didn't put any adhesive at the end because I knew I would need to adhere my church. Again, you don't have to go through this much work. I just wanted to <laughs> see what it would look like in brown and then I wanted to do something that wasn't really similar to yesterday's card. So I'm gonna cut this dimensional in half, hopefully. Can I? Jayus. Like Bob the Builder. Can we build it? Yes, we can. Okay, so I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna cut a second piece of this, one and three quarters by five and a half, so we can adhere it to the back. And I think we're gonna stamp on a piece of Whisper White. All right, let's bring in our Joy to the World sentiment. So I have trimmed my sentiment panel down to three quarters of an inch um, wide by five and a half inches long. And I've cut my piece of designer series paper one and three quarter inches wide and five and a half inches long. And again, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. I just want to finish off the inside. sentiment. For our sentiment, I'm going to do dimensionals at the bottom. And actually, let me use the small ones. This part will be popped up. 
the top part is going to be adhered. And then I have some of those red gems <laughs> left over from yesterday. I think I want to add them. And then my final touch, I know you guys were like, Missy, wait a Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I don't know if this one will be for sale or not. If you're interested in it, let me know. Um, I do really love how it turned out and so here is gingerbread where brown is an accent and here is gingerbread where white is an accent. It definitely looks more like gingerbread when white is the accent. So yeah. Alright guys, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. All the supplies will be linked in the description box below along with the coordinating blog post. Don't forget to sign up for Jolly Mail for September. You have until the end of next week to do that. I will see you tomorrow with another card. Bye for now.